Hey guys, it's Kyle from AK Pro Films, and today let's do some motion tracking. Alright, so before we actually begin this project, let me show you what the final output will look like. Okay, so let's dive into Motion 5 and create this project. So open up Motion 5 and then create a motion project and have the setting of Broadcast HD 1080. And also have a frame rate of, let's say, 30 frames per second and a duration of, let's say, 5 seconds. Okay, so now press on open and a new project will be presented to you. And then over here in the top right, like usual, let's make sure we fit the canvas to the screen. And then we want to take our footage, which I recorded earlier. You can grab your own footage and then just drop it right in to this media browser right here. And then the footage will be imported for you. And then we can delete just this blank group so we can keep everything nice and tidy. And then right off the bat, let's rename this group to our footage. All right, and then press enter and there we go. Now we're more organized. And as I say all the time, organization is key so you know what layer is what. Okay, so now we want to track the footage. So open up the library here and then go to behaviors, motion tracking, and analyze motion. And then you want to drag analyze motion onto your clip. All right, and then click on analyze motion and open up the inspector. And then we already have a track point here, but we want two just so we have the most options available when you want to add our text or image. So you want to add another tracker so you have two tracker points. And then place your first tracker point by clicking and dragging on this little circle here. And let's move that to right about there. And then you want to place your second tracker point to wherever there's high con contrast in the image. So the most successful places we're putting a tracker point is where the image has the most contrast. So up here we can see we have a lot of contrast by that camera lens where the reflection is. And down here by the Apple logo, we have a lot of contrast between the silver unibody and between the Apple logo. So let's just place that there. And if you need help with any of your tracks, let me know in the comments below. And now what we want to do is press analyze. Now, analyzing will take quite a bit of time, and it depends on what your computer is capable of. So if you have a really high-performance computer, it'll take less amount of time. If you have a little slower of a computer, it'll take a little bit longer. All right, so our analyzation is done, and now we can add the layer we want to track. We can track a 3D text object, we can track a 2D text object, we can track an image, particles, whatever you want. So what you want to do is you want to drag your layer or click and add your text. So I'm going to type in iPhone 6S, since this is the model of the iPhone that we have. And now it's time for customizing the text. So go to Format, you can change your font, and you can change your size. So I'm going to have the sizing to right about there. I want to go to the appearance. appearance. I don't want the face to show. I just want a nice, thick, white outline. So click on this little color box here, and then you can go to your crayons and choose the color of your choice. I'm going to increase the width a little bit. And there we go. We have the basic structure of our text. Now let's track this onto the image. So this is the easy part. Let's open up the library, go to motion tracking, and drag the match move behavior onto our layer that we want to track. So I'm going to drag it right on to the text layer here. And then open up your inspector, and we want to go and drag and drop the analyze motion from our footage into this little dropper right here where it says the source. So then your tracker points will be imported into the source. And I'm just going to leave it on position, but if you want scale and rotation, make sure to check those or check on those boxes. And then make sure your anchor is track one and your rotation scale is track two, since we have two tracker points. And there we go, you can adjust the settings here if necessary, but when you play through your clip, you'll see that it's nice and tracked onto your image. But it seems like my text isn't on there, so I'm just gonna drag the text over the whole duration of the clip. And we can see that our text is aligned perfectly to our footage. 
All right. So we can also move that text since we see it's going off the edge of the screen a little bit here and line it up like so. And we can see we have a nice aligned text to our footage. So this is a very easy way of attaching a layer to your footage. There's many other applications for this, but it's always up to your creativity. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you have any questions, leave them below in the comments section. Hope you learned a lot and I'll see you in my next video. Have a great rest of your day.